Hey, what's going on everybody? This is G and I'm Funkin' Hungry. In this video, we're trying another local place in Adelaide called The Pickled Duck. Now that's a pretty interesting name, but is their food decent? Let's give it a try. But I do like supporting local restaurants, and also there's so many places around these days, I want to try some of them and see which ones are good and see which ones aren't. Give it an honest review and a rating, and I hope you enjoy. So from the pickled duck, I got the Baconator. So they do all sorts of stuff from salad, different burgers, they have pizza, they just had all sorts of stuff, wings. So there's a lot to try from there. And I thought to myself, let's get a burger and give this place a try. Now they did have a really nice fried chicken one with slaw and all sorts of stuff in it. They had an American style one, obviously with American cheese, beef and pickles and that sort of stuff. They had an Aussie one, which is basically the Aussie with a lot. So it has your salads, it has your beetroot, that sort of stuff. So I got one that sounds like a bit of me. It's the Baconator. So you get obviously beef, you get bacon and cheese. I believe it has cheese on it, hopefully it does. And I believe it had aioli and barbecue sauce. Now I probably would have liked some pickles or some onions on this, but we'll give it a try, we'll give it a rating, and we'll see what it looks like. I have the receipt here, so the Baconator Burger Bar Sides, I got chips, that's $24. And then you have to pay for a service fee, and you also have to pay for delivery. So it was basically $30 with a bit of change for the whole order. You have to take that into consideration. So yeah, it is a little bit pricey, but let's try the food and see what it's like. The burger comes in one of these big boxes, which is different. You get a lot of napkins, which is nice of them. They gave me a few big size napkins, even though this one looks like it's been used. <laughs> Has a bit of whatever splashed on it. So yeah, I might put that to the side and keep one that looks fresh. <laughs> At least it looks like no one's wiped their mouth on it already. All right, let's bust this open and have a look. The pickled duck. So yeah, it looks like there's quite a lot of food here. So half of the box is filled up with these chips. Look a little bit more chunkier than a french fry. You know, almost like your typical burger joint chips. You get a nice, fresh, soft bun. It is a little bit crispy. So it looks like it's been toasted, which is nice. Look at that bacon, that looks really nice. Thick cut bacon, looks like it's cooked really well. And yes, yeah, looks really juicy and moist. And then you have some, obviously, barbecue sauce on the bacon, if you can see it. Then you have some aioli. You have some really nice melted looking cheese. Yeah, this looks like a really good burger, actually, for the price. I'm pretty impressed, actually. Nice, thick looking beef patties so i thought to myself it might need onions it might need pickles you know just a bit more flavor but that actually looks like there's a lot going on on here for a couple of sauces a couple of beef a couple of cheese you know a couple of bits of bacon that looks like there's a good you know maybe four bits of bacon on that okay so i guess we'll try the chips first and we'll leave this monster till the end i'm looking forward to that my mouth's just watering as i'm looking at it the chips are okay. They do taste like they've been sitting there a while. So the burger is basically piping hot. You can see the cheese is still melted and all that. But these are a little bit warm. Not a bad flavor. Not a bad flavor. I would like a little bit more seasoning on them. They're nice. They're quite strong in potato flavor. They're cooked well. Would have liked them a little bit more fresh than this. So there's a bit of chicken salt on them. I would have liked a little bit more. Yeah, overall, a fairly solid chip. I would have liked them a little bit more fresh, but what can you do? Yeah, I'd probably rate these chips, you know, about a 6 out of 10. So they would have got a higher score if they was a little bit more fresher and had a little bit more seasoning because they're a nice chip. So I can't really give them a huge score with them being warm, you know, almost going towards cold. You get a fairly big amount of chips, which is good. And you know, the main thing is the burger, really. All right, man, taking that off, all of a sudden, a lot of weight's gone from the box. All right, better put that box down there just to catch all of this stuff. But look at this. But look at this, this looks amazing. All that cheese, that beef, that bacon, 
this is definitely a Baconator, all right? That is amazing. Yeah, you can see the bun has been toasted. So it's basically soft on top around the edges, just where it meets the food. You know, it's a little bit toasted so it doesn't get all soggy. Still dripping on myself, even though I'm holding the box somehow. This is definitely a bit of a messy burger, so I'm probably going to make a fool of myself. <laughs> you know, shoving this in my face. But yeah, cheers. Mmm. Mmm. That beef tastes amazing. There's a lot of flavour in that beef. Like a smoky, charred almost flavour as well. You know, it's cooked on that grill really nicely. You know, I'm getting some creaminess from the cheese. I didn't really get much bacon. But the bacon adds a bit of greasiness to it. A little bit of obviously bacon pork flavour. Didn't really get much of the sauces, but I know I will. That mm. is fucking delicious. Yum. So the barbecue sauce is a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy and tangy, but I am getting a lot of creaminess from the burger, so that would be the cheese and probably the aioli. The bacon is just really nice and greasy, what you want in bacon. So the bacon's not hard and crispy, it's not chewy, it's just perfect. You know, it's grilled nicely, and it's not cooked too much, where it's just become like a crispy mess. It's just perfect, it's easy to tear apart in your mouth. But that beef though, it's nice and delicious, it's crumbly, but obviously it stays together as well, but it's just really moist as well. That's delicious. What more can I say? This is a perfect burger. The buns are even holding all of this greasy, beautiful mess inside. Absolutely delicious. Definitely my kind of burger. You know, cheese, meat, bacon, a couple of sauces. I thought this might need pickles. I'm not really missing them because this is just has a lot going on already. I thought it sounded a little bit plain, but it's definitely far from plain. Lots of flavors, smoky, charred flavors, the beef, the cheese, the bacon. Oh, delicious, man. Uh, sipping tea like Kermit. So I have to say, I've wanted to try the pickled duck for a while, and they didn't disappoint. That burger is amazing. Absolutely fantastic. That burger is definitely up there with some of my favorites that I've tried from Adelaide. Burger restaurants I've already tried in Adelaide that I've reviewed for the local section. There's a playlist if you want to hit it up. And that's the basically the South Australian local joints. And I have to say, that's up there with the rest of them. The only letdown is the chips are a little bit cold. And I would have liked a little bit more seasoning. So unfortunately, this would have got really high score if those chips were a little bit better. You know, it would have been probably 9 going on a 10. Because that burger is beautiful. It's absolutely amazing. It's a nice, messy greasiness. And that's the kind of burgers I like. If a burger doesn't make you all greasy and covered in sauce, what sort of experience is it? But my rating for the pickled duck, the Baconator burger, and chips... I'm going to give that an 8.8 out of 10. So that burger is absolutely funkin' amazing, absolutely delicious, full of flavour, full of ingredients, nice amount of food for the price. The chips, I would have preferred them to be a little bit more hot, a little bit more seasoned, so unfortunately they lost some points there. I'm definitely keen to try some of that other food. Basically, I want to try more burgers. The Aussie sounded good. The cheeseburger sounded good. They had a nice fried chicken burger with some coleslaw. That would have been delicious. But either way, I'm happy with what I got. And I'm not huge on barbecue sauce. I prefer tomato and mustard on my burgers. But that barbecue sauce was full of flavour. Spicy, sweet. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could please like, please subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. This was G from Funkin' Hungry, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.